Hello, this is Morpheus on the PTR and this video is about the PTR and the changes uh, for Rule of Arca 5.4, the patch notes, whatever you want to call it. And it's looking awesome for terminology. For Affliction and Destruction, I don't really know for sure. It seems like a nerf to me uh, and also some other warlocks say it's a nerf. But with the change of Archimonde's Darkness, then maybe that equals it out for, for them somehow, I don't know. Um, but I'm not specialized in affliction or destruction, so I can't know for sure. I only know what I know for the monology, and for the monology it's looking great. Now, I'm going to discuss the small changes, two small changes as well. The first change is Fell Flame. It deals 13% more damage, costs 2% less mana. I think it's a good change in that sense. The only, um, you know, a disadvantage is that it doesn't increase the dot duration anymore. So for affliction this might be annoying. For us it doesn't really matter since our dot, dots aren't important. We only have Corruption, Doom and you know Hand of Gul'dan. It, so it, it doesn't really matter. Um, so that's a good change. The other good change I think is the Monic Gateway. You used to be able to teleport every 15 seconds. It's increased to 45 seconds now the debuff that you get. So you can't use it now for 45 seconds anymore. Uh, I think this is a very good change because people were abusing the gateway the only or the pro the, the whatever now is that it doesn't have hp anymore so it can't be killed i think this is overall a good change now the big change is the first big change is that we get demonic breath as in our talent tree and we get hall of terror as a baseline spell now this just gives us an extra cc in our cc chain i don't use the monograph i use the uh, mortal Coil because my CC chain is now awesome. I use my Fell Hunter here and uh, I use Grimoire of Sacrifice as you can see here. You sacrifice your demon to gain one of its abilities, increasing its uh, power, the power of many of your single star spells by 25%, regenerate 2% of your maximum health every 5 seconds. Blah 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 blah. So I get his silence basically. Uh, so if you silence with your pet and, th and then sacrifice him, you get another silence which is instantly reset. It doesn't have the same cooldown. So I can just basically silence two times in a row. Now I got an AoE instant fear and a mortal coil. So I have four instant CCs. Okay, four instant CCs. And if that's not enough, I can just spam fear afterwards or before to force trinkets or whatever to annoy him, you know. So... The amount of CC is too damn high, seriously. I mean, it's insane. And I tested on my burst and my CC chain on healers and on various caster classes. Uh, if there isn't a caster class in arena, I usually go for uh, Voidwalker just to get extra HP, defense, and also a disarm. Um, and then sacrifice him after the disarm so I can get the extra 20% HP. You know, that's normally what I use, but you can also use uh, Felguard. But if you uh, if you sacrifice your Felguard, you get a charge, which is not really useful against melee uh, uh, opponents, you know. So, um, yeah, it's, okay, that's just awesome. Now, the second thing, big change, is that I'm going to duel, apparently, versus a warrior. And this is going to be fun. Okay, I'm gonna use my vo Void Walker in this, uh, in this this case. Okay, put my uh, buff up. Where, where the f okay, there it is. Okay, now I'm gonna put some dots on him. He will come to me immediately. I'm gonna disarm him right from the start. Do one hand of cooldown on uh, on him. Actually teleport away. Uh, do a mortal call on him now so I get healed a little bit and he can't do anything. Now I'm going to burst, get my extra HP. He reflects it all, but it doesn't matter because he's going to die anyway. I'm going to do an AoE fear now on him. I'm going to knock him away now. Hopefully, no, I didn't. He should interrupt me now. He didn't. He's actually not that bad. Normal warriors die already, but he's dead now. So. Good duel. He wasn't that bad. I wonder what kind of gear he has. Inspect. Ah, oh, he just has full PvP uh, gear. He might, you know, I thought that he might have some PvE gear, but he doesn't. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, now we can continue <laughs> with the normal part of the video. Archimonde's Darkness is our second big 
change and it's awesome we as demonology logs had uh, like kind of a problem our burst was really good but we couldn't split it as soon as we did something to split it um, our burst was just not good enough to finish someone off so if you want to force cooldowns you need to split your burst correctly you know and now we can because we have two if you take this this talent you get two charges of dark soul and dark soul increases your your mastery by 30 percent now if you don't know what this does it gives us a lot of extra damage now if you check metamorphosis it gives us 77 percent extra damage um, if we activate uh, dark soul knowledge it increases our damage by 167 so it's a lot more and it's it's in, of course it's great now I pop my imps. He is hitting me very hard right now. He has a. He's trying to kill me with everything that he has, but he's disarmed now. I'm gonna sacrifice my pet and just burst him down right now. Get my extra HP from the pet, so he has even a harder time killing me, and he is dead. Even more easy than last game. And I have 726k HP right now, but it will disappear in 7 seconds. See, now I have 550k. So anyways, um, yeah, so you can already see I used one charge of Handle Cooldown, then, and now I have, an, I mean Dark Soul Knowledge. And I have another charge right now again, so you can just, if you want to force cooldowns versus like, uh, this Priest Feral, you can just... Burst with one charge of Dark Soul Knowledge. Uh, do your damage, your CC chain, force the cooldowns, then just uh, go out of Metamorphosis, get all your CCs back up, pop your burst again with then all you have, including the second charge of Dark Soul Knowledge. And you can just finish them off really easy. Uh, really easy, I don't know, but just more easy than, than normally. Uh, so it's a good change for the monology. I don't know if it's overpowered or not. It's just very good. Then another thing, which is kind of a... <coughs> sorry. Which is kind of a change for everyone. That um, in Arena, if you have got the enemy team down to a lower percentage, percentage of HP compared to you sometime in the arena then you get this buff after 15 minutes you get this buff called crowd loves you whatever it gives you extra damage crit and everything so you can basically one shot the whole world in like one second or something um, well I think it's a bad change for the game but for the monology it's gonna be really good because we can burst really easily and we can get someone down to 5% or something quite easily and we can survive very good and if you go into tank form we can s survive even better so the yeah the, the kind of douchebaggy ish side of the story is that we can just burst and then survive in tank form for 10 minutes you, we get the buff then we go out of tank form we burst again and he's gonna be dead you know so it's gonna be cheat time god mode for a demonology lock uh, when it comes to that buff um, for yeah, so for us it's really good. For the game it's so bad because the problem is not. I mean, we had the problem that arenas lasted too long and that we had draws in arena, which is kind of annoying. That you know it's draw. But the problem is that mana regens too good, too fast. Um, and if their mana didn't regen that fast, the team with the most pressure would win because the enemy team's healer is just going to get ohm faster than your own healer <coughs> which was actually the case back in the good old days of world of warcraft and now not anymore if they fix that then it's no problem because you know it, it, the arena's lost shorter someone wins with the most pressure and the game is also not about burst anymore it's only about or it's it's about burst and pressure but also pressure and now pressure can be a, a role for example shadow cleave shadow play whatever um, uh, Shadow Priest and Afflation Lock, or sh uh, Afflation Lock and, 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 and Holy DK. That can still work very good, but now if I play really gay and I'm just going to, you know, burst and then go into tank form, they have a very hard time killing me, and I could just wait or su try to survive for 15 minutes and I win. It's just not fair because they have to 
put a lot of effort the whole game in keeping the pressure high and I just have to smash my buttons for one time then hope I survive and it's a good game so I don't know how this plays out maybe they're going to change it a little bit um, and it's gonna be fine for now I think it's a bad fix they should have fixed the mana instead of the just giving you a buff uh, but that's typically blizzard style so this is my video I hope it was useful I will be making a demonology guide shortly with literally everything about demonology um like the game style uh, the play style i mean talents gems whatever everything so if you are interested in playing demonology and you don't know much about it or you want some extra tips in arena to get high rated stay tuned and watch that upcoming video uh soon and you will be good to go for this patch see you all later and you know good luck have fun bye